Okay, just a little uh, playing around today. I took a, uh, a 4570 uh, casing, drilled a little hole in it with the Dremel, stuck a piece of, uh, of a sparkler in there for the fuse. Um, not sure if you'll be able to see, but inside it, uh, you ain't gonna be able to see. Um, inside it, I filled it up with about uh, a little bit of gunpowder, um, put some bird shot in there, and then uh, packed it all in with a uh, with a piece of a uh, of a cotton swab. So I'm gonna set this off and see if it. how well it does. <laughs> well, we had a fire. So, it did go off. See if we can find that soda can. To see how, there we go. See how well it went off. Well, we didn't have any penetration, but uh, it did end it up a good bit, it just didn't have any penetration, which may be because for a few different reasons, maybe I didn't put enough powder in it, uh, maybe I didn't pack the powder tightly enough, um, you know, maybe it was too much, uh, like too heavy of a load of shot. You know, there's a few different reasons that that might have uh, gone off uh, without the amount of force that I was uh, trying to get out of it. But I'll do a few little adjustments and see if we can get some better results than that. Okay, that one seemed to have a little more kick to it. Definitely moved the can farther than the other times. <laughs> but, uh, it dented it up pretty good, but we just didn't have any penetration. Let's see if I can focus in on it a little better. There we go. Yeah, as you see, <clears throat> dented it up, but, uh, really good. But, still no penetration um got a couple other things to try one being uh using a full soda can um, as opposed to an empty one most of the things that you see of people making little hand cannons and desk uh, desktop cannons things like that um most of them you see them shooting full soda cans which uh, I could see that making a big difference because I'm thinking if it had put enough pressure to dent it that far and it had been full, uh, then that can definitely would have busted open. Uh, another thing that I want to try is using uh, flash powder as opposed to gunpowder. Uh, flash powder has a is has a good bit more uh, bang to it than gunpowder does. So we'll try those two things and see how that goes. Okay, so this is take four. <clears throat> um, on this one we're using flash powder as opposed to gunpowder. See how much of a difference that makes.
Well, I would definitely say <laughs> that uh, I would say that makes a difference, or uh, a uh, fairly large difference. Um, you see with our first shot, you can actually see a little bit where the can was there. Uh, with our first shot, the can went down here about five feet. Uh, with our last shot, the can went to the end of the rail down here, which is about 10 feet. And with that shot, the can went all the way out here, which I'd say that that is a good, good 25 feet. Um, I can hear, I can hear a shot rattling around in there. Uh, as you can see, it's definitely, uh, definitely been in pretty good. Let's see if we can get a focus there. And you can see uh, multiple holes where it penetrated. Um, even blew the, the little tab up right there. And that was still with a empty can. So uh, I think that with our foil can here, I think what we're going to do is do the same thing. Use the flash powder again. Okay, so <clears throat> I changed it up a little bit and uh, switched to a 30 out six shell, uh, so that our casing has more of a uh, more of a, a smaller throat here, and I'm hoping that, that will, you know, force the uh, <clears throat> force the the shot to come out in a smaller pattern and be faster, or it could just make it blow up. So. Uh, Let's see how this goes. Okay, so that didn't work too well. Uh, we do got some pretty good dents here, so it came out <clears throat> fairly, fairly quickly. Uh, it'll focus. Come on now. thing to focus well anyway uh, I'm sure you can see a little bit um, did get a bunch of little dents here there we go got a bunch of little dents in it here where the shot uh, where the shot hit and I mean there's some pretty good little dimples in there but um, definitely not any penetration so <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe what it is is I need to put uh, make one solid projectile um, instead of having it shoot shot like that so uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did please uh, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe um, I'll work on making something a little bit uh, a little bit better than just throwing this together like that. This is just something I did because I ain't have nothing else to do today and figured I'd mess around. But yeah, I'll work on making a uh, something where I can shoot one solid uh, individual projectile. And uh, as usual, uh, I just like to say God bless y'all and y'all have a good day.